So, Mike, you now are signed up with the Steelers to coach here at least 15 years. So Chuck Knoll, 23, Bill Cower, 15. You, you know, if, if God allows, at least 15. So how much do you still like this job, and can you see yourself being a Chuck Knoll of Pittsburgh? You know, um, I love the job. I love the challenges that it presents, the variables are ever-changing. Uh, it's continually stimulating. Um, in terms of uh, longevity, you know, I don't think a lot about longevity. I just like to feel the urgency of now. If you do that enough, man, and you, and you win enough, then you get longevity. Longevity has never been my focus or my agenda. I just want to be a really good football team here in 2019. Let's talk a little bit about the differences in your team. Last year at this time, you kind of had the Le'Veon Bell storm cloud over your head. You had a bunch of stuff happening with during the season with Antonio Brown. Now it seems like more of a placid place. How does this team feel this year to you? You know, it was still so early. We hadn't played a game yet. Um, the adversity of the journey really creates opportunities where you get to evaluate some of the things that you're, you're asking about. Uh, make no mistake about it, there's some adversity in this training camp and this team development process. But the winning, the losing, the challenges of the journey, navigating it um, is, is where the test will be. I, I feel really comfortable with this group. I like what I've seen from them thus far, but time will tell that story. Your division just got a lot more interesting with the addition of Odell Beckham and a lot of new people with the Cleveland Browns. And we were talking before, and you seem to kind of really like that. You like the fact that the Cleveland Browns have been sort of energized and could be a real significant factor. What do you think about the Browns now, and what do you think that does to your division? You know, I don't know that I have an opinion. Uh, I just like competition. I like challenges. I don't concern myself with the Joneses, particularly this time of year. They got their issues, we got ours. Uh, those two paths will meet at some point. Um, Twice. And we, and we better be yeah. ready. Yeah. And, uh, but I like, I like the interest. Uh, I like the optimism. I like the challenges associated with it. Uh, I look forward to kind of meeting it head on. I want to ask you two league questions. One, you were very, very bullish on trying to get something done with pass interference. And we talked at the league meetings about how you wanted to make absolutely sure that one aspect of the pass interference, which is the Hail Mary play, didn't get officiated any differently than it does now. A, how do you think the whole thing will work? And B, how do you think the Hail Mary part of it will work? You know, I'm, I'm comfortable with where we are. Um, I think it's going to be fine. I think there's one caveat that we don't talk enough about is the fact that the on-field officiating has been really solid. You know, we spent a lot of time talking about three or, three or four plays over the course of last year in regards to this, and it's 40,000 plays collectively, annually. So let's start first there. Um, and then in those few moments uh, where the credibility of the game's at stake, uh, where it's truly significant, we have this in our hip pocket, and I think that's the sentiment of all of us. You will open the season against the New England Patriots on Sunday night football. And I wonder... Do you use the Patriots as a measuring stick for your team with all the success they've had? I think everybody in our game does. I think people in other games do. I think we all desire to be consistently dominant and to win. And so um, I don't think that's unique in any way. Mike, good luck this year. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.